I remember um, the last day of our grandfather, we had a family gathering on Tuesday, Tuesday night. Everything was seemed to be happy and joyful and the next morning yeah, we, we had to rush him in the hospital. Yeah. And then three days later we lost him. You know what it came to my mind last night that we had dinner with the farm? No, what? A quote that says the little things, the little moments aren't actually that little. And it's really true because these things that we think that it are little are actually the main things in life. Okay. Spending some valuable time with your family, having a little chat with your friends. Mm -hmm. That's 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 what what is for me everything in life. Yeah, exactly. The little things matter the most. Yeah, and most of the time we take them for granted. Yeah, I, exactly. I know. Yeah. Well, when you have a beer with your friends, you know that kind of stuff. Yeah, spending time. Yeah, I mean, there are some people that have no friends. There are some people that have no family. Yeah, they uh, just spend the, you know all alone in the bedroom. Yeah, or nothing. maybe there, are, there are some kids that they were born with no dad and mom, and they were in an uh, orf um, orphanage. Yeah. Yeah, when From they see one. someone else, you know, with the family, with the mother, father, they be like, "Wish I had my family here." Yeah, and, and all the other, all the other children, they take that for granted. Yeah, I mean, you've seen a lot of cases where people are, you know, when you go out for dinner or even lunch, and yeah. like all the children on the phones, and the parents are like, um, "Come on, guys, we're here to spend some quality time together," and then you see someone else, literally just a kid alone, and just wishing having a mother and a father. You know, talking, spending time with. I, I mean, mean, some people yeah. really don't deserve good things, to be honest. I mean, you saw the picture that I sent last week where a little child went to McDonald's with his grandfather yeah. and he was on his phone. Yeah, that was actually quite disgusting. And actually, maybe that moment was one of the last moments of that grandfather with his yeah. grandkid. And yeah, it's quite sad. I mean, for us, it's pretty sad because we lost our, grandf our grandfather at, uh, an, yeah. at an early age and we always wish we had one more time with him yeah but it's, it's yeah it's it's sad it's painful not just sad it's painful yeah. and to see that yeah I don't know how to express I that mean, just to wake up in the morning and say good morning to your father to your mother for me it's not just a little moment or do you know have some fun like tease him a bit like yeah. say something funny because um, you don't know if it's, you don't know if if that's the if, if, last if, time that yeah, you I mean, see them. not going good, worst time, not going good, whatever. I mean, yeah, you have to spend every little second with your family. Uh, I mean, a family. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, family is the most important thing. I mean, uh, they are the people that they're gonna they're gonna stay with you. They're gonna you know believe in you no matter what. Even if you fall like millions of times, they are the ones who are gonna back you up gonna support you so if you waste that uh, if you waste all that time with your family just to you know uh, get wasted or go to the club or get drunk get laid with someone and blah 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 and this is I mean you lost the point of life for me at least yeah I mean how many times you heard the story where the the family had something planned they had something on the schedule and some of the children said, oh, well, we can do it tomorrow. Yeah, because I have to go out with my friends. And tomorrow, yeah. dad or mom wasn't there, wasn't alive. I mean, you cannot, you cannot, uh, yeah, some people just... you cannot procrastinate anything for tomorrow. You cannot, you don't have tomorrow for granted. There's also like a quote that says, when you can do something today, just do it today. Don't leave it for tomorrow. Because you never know, as you said before, you never know. You know, life is unexpected in all sorts of, you know, I mean, you can't predict the future, that's for sure. So, yeah, and I mean, the other thing, in special occasions like Christmas Eve and... All those, yeah, yeah, events. For me, it's all about family. Spending time with family, playing table games and all that stuff. Yeah. 
I mean, I don't want to go to clubs to waste my time in clubs in these days. How many you know? Spending, instead of spending it with my family because nothing is granted. Yeah, but how many of your friends? I mean, how people? How many people you know that spend time with their families, especially on Christmas Eve or New Year's in New Year's Eve, uh, New, Year, uh, New Year's Eve, instead of like you know having a chat, having a quality time with the families they just go to the clubs or getting wasted I mean how many people of them you know pretty much everyone isn't it? nine of ten everyone people. I know instead of my two best friends yeah but nine of ten in general yeah. go get wasted instead of like appreciate the little moments yeah with the families I mean you never know if that moment is gonna be your last moment I mean that will happen with our grandfa our grandfather isn't it? and we and we literally wish to spend one more Christmas, one yeah. more. I mean, I remember um, the last day of our grandfather. We had a family gathering on Tuesday, Tuesday night. Everything was seemed to be happy and joyful, and the next morning, yeah, we, we had to rush him in the hospital. Yeah. And then three days later, we lost him. That's what I'm telling you. I mean, that Tuesday night. It wasn't a little moment. It wasn't a little family gathering. Spending quality it time. The, it was the hugest family ga gathering that we had yeah, ever. The largest. Yeah. Because it was our last one with him. I mean, imagine what would we do if we if we if we lost that moment. I mean, what would we do? Upgrade your style with J N S, and remember, when they sleep, we grind. If we if we didn't show up that moment, Probably I mean, I would personally regret it for the rest of my life. I would take yeah, it I mean, to my grave. I mean, imagine me saying, "Well, no, I'm not gonna attend to the gathering, and I will go to the club." I'm, and I then the next, that. and then the next morning, uh, I'm, and then the next morning, I am watching my grandfather rushing to the hospital. Yeah, that and then three days later, I hear that he's dead. Yeah, he passed I mean, away. I will live with all this. Regrets Fields and regrets. Fields. Yeah, you're gonna take it to your grave pretty much. I mean, you always gonna remember that moment, that stupid decision you made. Yeah, because I, I, I would feel that my grandfather left and he had, and he would believe that I never cared about him. Exactly. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna give that impression, especially to your family. Yeah. That's the worst thing you can do to your family, for me at least. I mean, yeah. I don't know, it's just. Wish some people have some more break, uh, you know, uh, thought a bit, you know, about the situation twice before they do something. I mean, is it gonna affect my relationship with my family? I mean, is it worth it, like not showing up? Uh, you know, I mean, it's just. Well, I heard this story. It's related with the code. It was a father and son story, and the father was in the garage and doing something with his car, and he shouted to his son. He said, "Son, can you come here?" And the son was playing video games. And he said to his father, Oh, leave me alone, father. I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm busy playing video games. Mm. And the father just went for a drive and he never came back. And the reason he never came back is because he committed and because he committed a suicide with his car. He didn't crash. It wasn't an accident. He committed suicide and what he wanted the reason why he wanted to speak to his son it's because he wanted to probably to tell him about his problems and I mean, I mean imagine you are his son right now I mean pretty much I can imagine that one chat he was gonna have hypothetically with his son was gonna like it might be a life changing for him yeah, it might, it change might his, save him might, yeah might be a wake up call for him like I have family I have to stay alive I mean, yeah, I mean, probably his son would tell him, well, you have me, you have your wife, you have reason to be alive. Yeah, you have reasons to live, you have us. And yeah. he refused to do it. He refused to tell him that. And he, anyway, I mean. Oh, that's so messed up, that's so messed up. Oh my God. We're not judging him. No, but it's just And we're not stupid. judging anyone, but what we're trying to say is, we're trying to... Adv give some advice to out everyone out there that don't take anything for, gran for yeah. granted. All, all these little moments that you think are little are actually 
the hugest moments that you will ever experience in your life. Yeah, the best The most moments. valuable moments that you will ever experience in your life. I mean, I can replace, I would replace anything to have more time with your just family. Just another chat with my grandfather because yeah. I was nine years old. I never, I, I wasn't able to do so much things with my grandfather because yeah, you were I, I was immature. Yeah, you were just a kid I, still. I was just a kid. I I was a mama's boy. Yeah. I wanted to spend more time with my mother instead of everyone else. Yeah. And I never gave him the opportunity to uh, create a strong uh, bond and connection mm -hmm. between us. And I, I still have that guilt within me. And that's why I'm telling, never to waste these opportunities. Never. It's priceless. Exactly. I mean, whenever you have the opportunity to just, just for a small talk with any of your family members, just, just don't get, just don't get wasted. Like, yeah. just go for it. And you never know. Yeah. And the last thing is, as we said in the beginning. If you have a father, if you have a mother, if you have a relative which Anyone. is alive, you are the likeliest person in the world because there are so many people who have none. Yeah. And they exactly. would wish to give everything to have just one moment. With a family. With a family member. Yeah. So what do we need to tell and what do we need to what message we want to spread to the world to the world is don't take for granted your your family and take our advice into consideration to spend more time and enjoy these little moments with your with your family members and and even if you have like a so-called semi-fight or argument with your family members don't let that slip through and just destroy your bond just yeah. talk with it talk through it try and absorb it because yeah. you never know what's gonna yeah. be if it's gonna be your last moment with that family member so yeah, maybe you maybe you over stupid things, you know, like arguments over literally little stupid things. I mean, don't do that. Always try to um, increase the bond to make the bond stronger. Because at the end of the day, it's your family member. I mean, they are the ones who are gonna stay with you. Yeah, I mean, so many people had their last moments with their loved ones into a fight. Yeah, that's and they took and they took that into their grave I mean yeah. you will they never want to it. yeah so anyway have that in, in mind, mind. Yeah, exactly. take that into consideration and we will have some fun time now at the beach so when they we sleep we grind exactly